with Masha YouTube channel. So with today's video, we are going to do a small question where you ask from the support seminar paper. Okay, so I hope uh, by now you have uh, received the support seminar paper from your school. So without taking much time, let's go to the question and remember, you have to take a pen, paper and be ready for the question. So as I say you every day, before starting the question, read it properly and then do the question. Once after that, you all can play the video and check your answer. Don't just copy the answer that I'm giving you. You all have to do it first and then only you all have to check the answers. Okay? So I hope by now all of you might have uh, subscribed to our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon near there. And you can send your important comments, ideas, your suggestions through our comment box. And don't forget to like our video and to share with your friends. Okay, so without taking much time, let's go to our so question. When I, so actually when I was scrolling down through those comments, I saw one comment like, uh, uh, he have said, uh, teach I can understand the question, but the problem is your language doesn't help me. So all the time I was, uh, explaining in Singhala, right? So I think for some international school kids, uh, it was a big uh, best. So I'll try my best to do it in English. But the problem is most of my students are from government schools and they are following the uh, Singhala medium curriculum. Okay, so that's why I am explaining it uh, with Singhala. So like that, I really appreciate that comment because of that comment only, I thought of doing this uh, lesson actually the video in English okay so kids I took this question from 2021 all level support seminar paper so I hope uh, you have received this 2021 all level support seminar paper from your school so before you go to all level it's better if you can uh, practice this paper and go I saw all the subjects were there and the marking schemes also were there so it's better you can do it alone and go through the answer script and check out your answer. So most of the kids uh, said that this question was a bit confusing but I went through this question it's super easy right. So this is a Pascal question so they have given a program name as my PRG here they haven't mentioned the input output part it's okay you can continue the code without the input output part it's not a big problem right don't make it an issue. And remember, it's not a printed mistake as well. So I received many uh, messages through WhatsApp and you all were asking me, teacher, whether this is a printing mistake. No, actually, it's not a printing mistake. It's just a uh, way that we are writing our Pascal code, okay? So, and here, they have given you two variables, X and Y. So both these variables are assigned into a data type called integer. By now, you all have to know what is the integer. That means we are storing a whole value inside the integer thing up to there it's clear so from here only they have started the code so and here they have given you a for do loop so in pascal we have three main loops in repetition first one is for do loop second one is while do and the third one is repeat on so the easiest loop is the for do one okay so the x variable is going to repeat from 1 to 4 that means 4 times and here once we go to the next code you can see they have opened a sub begin here this is a single block so here they have given you y equals x plus 4 that means we are going to add 4 into the value of the x okay and and here we have to output the value of variable y so you can't do it at once actually in my other videos also i think you have seen I have explained you what to do once you get a Pascal code and once they are asking you for output. Okay. So as the very first step, what you have to do is you have to create a small table. That means you have to get a rough idea about the question. So it's better before taking the output, take a small table and no doubt all the things that you know about the code. Okay. Right. So I'm going to uh, do a small table like this. And I have two variables, both have values. So I'm going to take x here and y will be this. So in our for do loop, they said us that our variable x is going to repeat four times and the starting value is one. Okay, so I'm going to put one here and they are going to repeat it until four. So that means our x is going to repeat four times, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I took all the values for x. Now I have completed x. I hope no doubts about x now. And you come to the next block. They are saying you y will be equal uh, to x plus 1. That means you have to add 4 into the current value of x. So if I write it like this, y equals x plus 4, 
currently we are having 1 as the value of x okay and we are going to add 4 into this so y will be 5 right so as the first value i'm going to put 5 okay i think the first one is super clear x and then here they have given the value of 2 for x okay so now i'm going to delete this so what will happen if you uh, add 2 to 4 it will become 6 right so likewise you have to add 4 for all the values of x so if you add 4 here to 3 it will be 7 if you add another 4 to this 4 it will be 8 so finally you will be getting values as 5 6 7 8 but there is a problem now this is the main point that you need to consider about this question so look at it carefully right here they are giving you the output as a right line now you know the meaning of a right line they are telling you to take the value uh, with the right line reserve word what you need to do is you have to separate each and every output line by line okay it's like this right first you are going to take the output as 5 okay so you are using the right line command here no? so what will happen is your next output should go into the next line so the 6 will be printed in the next line, then the 7 and then the 8. Okay, so this should be the final answer. If any of you have written like this, we are not going to give marks for this. Okay, if you have a right here, that means you, if you have a right command or a right reserved word here, you can manage with this, but you have right line. So what you have to do is you have to separate it line by line okay so this question is not hard right it's a super easy question so remember once you get a question from pascal or else a pseudocode even a flowchart make sure whether you are writing this table or not if you write this table i'm 100 percent sure you can score full marks. okay so i hope now this question is crystal clear for you now so next day we are going to meet with another important video like this so until that stay safe and have a nice day